Weak endorsement of Songolu morally inappropriate, says Atiku's aide Osita Chidoka. And our government attained a pass mark with high impact projects, says President Muhammadu Buhari. And this is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anakom. A special advisor to the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Abubakar Atiku, and the party's presidential campaign council, PCC, Osita Chidoka, has described Governor Yesungwike's endorsement of Governor Babajide Songwolu of Lagos State for a second term as morally inappropriate. According to Chidoka, the moral burden is more on the Wike, uh, Governor, Governor Wike, than the PDP, and the party needs to review his processes and procedures. He said, and I quote, Governor Wiki has the liberty to do most of the things he's doing because he has no skin in the game. In what would be described as an endorsement of the second term bid of Governor Babajide Songolu of Lagos State, the River State Governor, Yeston Wiki, said Songolu had performed well and he had no regrets supporting him. He, however, remained silent on the People's Democratic Party's candidate, Olajide Adediro popularly known as Jandor. Well, joining us to discuss this is Chidi Lloyd. He is uh, the chairman of Emoha local government area in River State. Uh, Honorable Lloyd, thank you so much for joining us. We're still discussing, of course, the endorsement of uh, the governor of Lega State, Babajide Somolu, by the governor of River State. And we're again being joined by Dr. Chidi Lloyd, who is the chairman of Emoha Local Government Area in River State, and Honorable Moshud Mayegun, vice chairman of the APC in Lagos State. Thank you so much once again, gentlemen, for joining us. Now, Dr. Lloyd, before we lost the connection with you, I was about to ask... Um, many people, including members of your political party and the Atiku campaign committee, have kicked against um, Governor Wike's stance on uh, somewhat endorsing the governor of Lagos State, especially being that Governor Sanolu is a member of the APC. Can you tell us if you have any idea why the governor did that? Well, uh, Marianne, uh, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to react to this uh, topical issue. Uh, recall that Governor Baba, Baba DJ Somolu was in River State some time ago at the invitation of the Governor of River State to commission projects. And also recall that Governor Somolu is also a governor of the south, south, of the southern part of this country. And together, uh, across party lines, they had met at different forums. Uh, to emphasize the need for power to rotate to the south. The first meeting was held, of course, in Asada. And the communique of that meeting was read by the vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. And Lagos State who said the next meeting. Now, there has been a rapprochement at the level of uh, governance between the governor of River State and that of Lagos State. Because River State has a lot to learn from Lagos State and vice versa. So if the governor of River State uh, honors the invitation of uh, the governor of Lagos State and then uh, looks at the, 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 the mood of the people and says, uh, someone who has done very well in Lagos and that uh, you do not need to change a winning team. That is his own, that, that is his own opinion. I recall that the governor of River State will not be voting in Lagos State on the day of the governorship election. And of course, if Baba uh, Tunde Tunde Shawolu and somewhere, it is left for the voters to decide. So the governor of River State fairly expressed his own opinion as to what uh, uh, governance is about performance. If Baba Tunde Shawolu has performed, why wouldn't the electorate re-elect him? So I do not see any anything uh, serious in the in the in what the governor of River State said. 
what we should be talking about is that the statement of the PDP presidential candidate, where he clearly discussed the importance of the Yorubas and the Igbos. Those, those, those are the things that should form the topic of discussion and not uh, the, the collaboration between two governors. Uh, we have a presidential candidate and should vote for him because he's a national. That is just the, the credential. And what? we are growing past that. Those, those, are, those should form the kind of discussion, discourse in your, in your studio, not... But let's, let, by the let, let's, not, of, let's uh, not deviate to that. Let's come back to this. Your governor is a member of the People's Democratic Party. In the middle... A of very an, proud one. A very proud one. In the middle that, of an imbroglio. Let's not forget... Let's together. not forget that your governor, Governor Nyesum is a Bumwanwike, uh, has, and some of his supporters, have withdrawn from the presidential um, campaign committee of your party, the PDP. No, no, but, no, then, no, but then, no, yeah, but then, but then you come to a state where you know that your political party has been struggling to find its footing, to even displace, according to them, um, you know, the APC who, that has been in power for so long, and then make yeah, such uh, a, a comment. Yeah, yeah. Do you not I'm think saying. that that's somewhat tantamount to anti-party practices? I'm just asking. I'm just wondering. Out of the campaign of the PDP. It, it won't be so. You must situate. You must situate what has happened. What 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 were the demands of the of the team? look, you cannot have a situation where you have all the organs that take decision in the party come from one part of the country. They that come from the north. The, the, the director general of the campaign from the north. It is only appropriate that the chairman of the party do come to the south, so that when we go to campaign, we will have what to tell our people. And in order, I think, I think to portray uh, uh, the attraction of the governor of River State, you have a presidential candidate who wants to. That we the other day and made the kind of statement that they have said to him, even to my children. I thought it was not true. I thought it was put out of context. Until I had him, he was okay. Okay. I I'm going to come to you now, Mr. Mayogun. Um, you're a member of the APC, in fact, the vice chairman of the APC here in Lagos State. Let's turn the tables. If this were your governor in, a, in River State, oh, I think we lost Mr. Mayogun, unfortunately. Um, we lost that connection with him. But let me, okay, Mr. Mayogun, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Perfect. Like I said before we lost that connection, you are the vice chairman of the APC in Lagos State. So let's spin the table. If your governor... Let me... Call, wait, wait, wait. Let me first correct the impression. I'm not the vice chairman. I'm deputy state chairman. Oh, you're the deputy we state have, chairman. Yes, okay. deputy state chairman. Okay, great. So... Of if, APC in Lagos State. Imagine if the governor, someone who went to River State and endorsed... Um, the governor of River State, if he were to be running for a second tenant okay. in River State, um, me, being that he's a member of the APC and there is an APC governorship candidate in River State in the person of Tony Ko, um, how would that sit well with the APC in Lagos State and the APC in River State? Oh, fine. Actually, uh, I know that you are trying to is the question and the narratives simply because of what Governor Wiki has done in Lagos yesterday. Sincerely, what Governor Wiki. Mr. Mayago, are you there? Uh, I think that we also, again, lost the connection with Mr. Mayago. Um, do we have Mr. Mayago back now? Okay, Mr. Mayago, can you hear me? Unfortunately, we've lost that connection. Back to you, Honorable Lloyd, um, since we are unable to get the APC man. Um, Honorable Lloyd, you're still yeah. taking me to what the presidential candidate of the PDP said uh, at the Arawa Forum in um, Kaduna State. But that's not, the, that's not the issue now. He wasn't in Lagos. He didn't attend uh, a gathering of people... Uh, in Lagos with the governor of Lagos State. 
He is not here. The issue well, that I we're discussing. No, 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 no. We will I, get I, there. We will get there. You will get. You will get. You will get your. You get your five minutes of fame to, to talk about that. But in the meantime, let's dwell on this. If the tables were turned, and for example, your governor was running for a second tenure, and somebody else came from another party to endorse him, or let's just say, governor. Let's say Governor Wiki wanted to run for a second tenure, and somebody else came from, uh, somebody from his party came to an APC event and endorsed the APC candidate, but he was a PDP person. Would Governor Wiki take that sitting down? I'm wondering. Exactly what played right. out in Lagos, if he played out in River States and the tables were turned, would Governor Wiki take it sitting down? I'm just curious. Honorable Lloyd, are you there? Oh, I are think. You that, hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I was beginning to wonder and if this question not, makes everybody that go is silent. Not the situation now. Of Norwegian will not be running to the second term. And of Norwegian to ask. We all know he's not going for a second term, but I'm asking a question. If the same scenario were to play out, and if the, the Governor Wiki were the one on the receiving end, how well will he take it? Yes, to answer you. Hello? I'm listening. Hello? I can hear you. I would only be able to answer you if I am Governor Wicked. I am not Governor Wicked to, to know how he would react if the table were the other way around. But it's just like asking uh, Miriam, now the, on the 21st of this October, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria would be of very uh, distinguished award of the best in uh, infrastructure on Governor Yeshon Wiki of the People's Democratic Party. It's just like asking the president, why would you do a thing like that? Every eye beholds a matured court. Even the president understands that the governor has performed and has lived above the sentiment of party politics and understands that he is the president of the Federal Republic of and has given this, is going to give this well deserved honor to the governor of Silver State. I think these are, these, these are not the kind of discourse we should be having. We should be having a discussion. So you don't, so you don't see anything wrong with the timing, the sensitivity of the situation that the PDP has found itself, especially with the governor at the center of it. The and, PDP, and then, of the, course, with the, the Southern PDP. Caucus. With the issue, of, because again, let's not forget, you well, have a governorship well, candidate. Well, yeah. In Lagos State, I'm just asking the questions here, and I hope that you can help me answer. You have a governorship candidate here in Lagos State um, who's also running Hello. against Governor Sonwolu. Nobody is actually arguing with Governor Wike whether he thinks that Governor Sonwolu has performed or not. But when you say he will win, knowing that you have a PDP candidate in this state, does that not amount to anti-party? And that's, does that not also look like your governor is pitching his tent already with the APC? No, it doesn't amount to any antipathy because the governor of River State spoke as himself. He didn't speak as a party official. He didn't speak as the national chairman of the party. He went to uh, honor the invitation of his colleague, uh, who is, of course, doing very well in Lagos, and says that uh, because he has performed, he was pleading that uh, he, he be re-elected. I do not see that as anything that we should, we should uh, cry foul about. Uh, it, it, like I said, a good example is uh, people will ask why is President Buhari going to compare uh, Governor Wicked, the, 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 the best performing uh, governor in, in terms of the infrastructure in Nigeria. This, 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 this shouldn't be the kind of discourse we should be having at this time in Nigeria. We should talk about capacity. We should talk about uh, uh, performance. Delivery of of of, of, uh, of dividends of the of good governance. Those should be the kind of discourse we should be having, and we should also be probing the kind of comments that we are made by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Kaduna, where he now. You, see, you, see, you seem to be you seem to be hung up. You seem to be hung up on just one thing speech. tonight, and it seems like you already have a narrative. You just want to talk about that. 
But I, I will move on to the APC um, Deputy Chairman, um, Mr. Mayagu. Welcome back. Uh, we lost that connection for a bit. Mr. Mayagu, I asked a question. I hope you heard me. Um, unfortunately, I think we have lost that connection again. Okay, since you want to talk about this, the remarks of um, the presidential candidates of your party, I'd like to ask, uh, Mr. Austin Chidoka has, uh, Mr. Chidoka has said that the governor of River State, a man of his stature, remember when we started this conversation, you said he's a strong member of the PDP. As a strong member of the PDP, should Governor Wike's position not be trying to build the party up, trying to make sure that the party wins the election come 2023? And of course, um, winning means that it, it's going to show in his body language and the things that he says, or is that not a priority for the governor? Well, uh, uh, Mr. Otiba, Otiba Kidoka did not make any mistake when he referred to the governor of River State as a strong member of the political party. You remember shortly after uh, the 2015 general election, a lot of those who are the some went and joined other political parties. He took the likes of Governor Wiki to remain in the PDP. And of course, he has no history of defection to any political party. He remained in the PDP and salvaged what was left of it. And as you know, they made the PDP very attractive and a, a, a formidable opposition in the country. If you go to Lord Governor Wiki, like him, you will not remove the fact that he a very strong member of the People's Democratic Party. He is not in the party uh, to, to win flags or to fly their flags at any uh, election. He is in the party because he believes in the party. He has never, uh, he has never abandoned the PDP at any point in time. So he is within his right. For the likes of Ochi Chidoka, you don't see anything wrong in the Kaduna declaration of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. It is most unfortunate. Finally, before I let you go, Honorable uh, Lloyd, because we do not have time, um, do you see Governor Wike um, making a U-turn of sorts? I, I mean, meeting the party, whether it be the chairman, uh, the, the, the chairman of the party, um, the, your presidential candidate, members of the board of trustees, um, on this particular issue that the Southern Caucus has been pushing for, do you see a U-turn happening anytime soon as we head to the elections? Because well, the, the issues are clear. The governor of River State and his team have made demands as well until the party meets those demands. Then we'll be talking about what men should do. The issues are clear. We need the South we need to be in the decision of the PDP. That's, that's our demand, and we are, we are all meant to work all about it. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you. Chidi Lloyd is the chairman of Emoha Local Government Area. He is also a former member of the River State House of Assembly. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Miriam. It's always a pleasure talking with you. All right. Well, we'll take a quick break now. We apologize for all the hiccups. When we come back, we'll be talking about the president's self-appraisal. The president had spoken about how well his administration has done in the past few years. Stay with us. We'll be right back.